What? Where? Damn. The fact that she managed to sneak it into her backpack without us seeing? I'm impressed. I'm so sorry, Sean. She's never usually this naughty. Why did you take the laptop, Bethy? I, I wanted to be cool like you and make songs and sh show my friend Hannah. I, I was gonna give it back, I promise. You want to make music, huh? Hmm. How about next time I come over, we make something together. In return, you gotta promise that you won't take people's things without permission. Have we got a deal? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you lot look knackered. I think it's time we head home, eh? Oh, does anybody need a lift? My dad said he's picking me up, so I'm good. My place is just a stroll away. Well, a lift would be great if it's not a bother. Of course not, Jake. Uh, just make sure to keep an eye on your valuables in the car. We don't want another disappearance. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Well, thanks for coming to rehearsals today. And sorry about my sister, Sean. Don't worry about it. Thanks for all your help today, guys. And thank you, Jake, for your offer. Oh, no problem. See you Monday. See you guys. See ya. Ciao. See ya. Bye. I call dibs on the front seat. You're such a child, Haley. Well, you can sit in the middle, Luke. Oh, sure. If Why uh... would you make Luke sit in the middle when you're the smallest, Xander? It should be you. Aw, don't you want to sit next to me, Zandy? Are you sure about that? I'm telling you, I saw it with my own eyes. You should have seen his face when I caught him. He was as red as a tomato. <laughs> he so has a thing for Haley, don't you think? You remember Jake likes Daisy, right? Oh, right. Meh. You never know, though. They'd both be cute. I guess I'm just a multi-shipper. Uh, what? Ah, <sighs> Sean, you're such a boomer. I... Hey, I'm only two years older than you! <laughs> Finally! You sure you don't want to lift, Sean? Nah, I'm fine, thanks. I prefer to walk. Suit yourself. See you at school, Boomer! Daisy, what's wrong? Did someone hurt you? Huh? Oh, n no. I'm fine. I just, well... Oh, this is so embarrassing. I didn't expect to see anyone from school along here. Hey, don't worry about me. What happened? Nothing, really. I just... I'm not having a good day. I got in a fight with my mom. I didn't know where else to go, so... You want to talk about it? I know we don't know each other well, but I'm here to listen. Only if you're comfortable to, of course. Okay. Everything is just so exhausting. If I'm not doing homework, I'm doing things for the school committee, or I'm working at the animal shelter, or I'm at dance rehearsals. I thought that... Maybe I could drop one of my extracurricular activities. Maybe even step down as head girl if the school allowed me. I... I suggested it to my mom, but she disagreed. I sort of snapped, and then I came here. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I'm really pathetic. No, no, it's fine. 
It's only natural to be stressed if you have that much on your plate. And I know what it's like to have family issues. But I think you shouldn't be forced to do all of this just to please your parents. They should care about your happiness after all. Well, it's not like I'm always unhappy. I do like having the responsibility of head girl sometimes. I just wish I had something to escape from it all. Something fun and free, you know? I know what you mean. That's how I feel about music. Whether I'm making tracks, rehearsing with the club, or just listening. I can forget about my worries. It's my escape, I guess. <laughs> that sounds nice. I'm kind of jealous of you, Sean. Me? <laughs> What's there to be jealous of? You'll be graduating soon. I wish I was. When I graduate, I'd like to get out of this city. Explore new places, try new things. <sighs> If I drove to you tonight, would you want to get away? We could get on a flight and leave today My mind has been running wild, thinking away I'd rather be now, I know it has been a while Since you envisioned what you once dreamed of Will you take my hand and run? Won't you take my hand and we can get away Here we go Our dreams will be waking down the road All I know Is we'll be reflecting back when we are old Let's just run And as we move we'll see you Stars and light. Now we are young. So just take my hand and let's get away future starts today and i'm in love with the sight there's nothing i would change when you are here by my side you're the wind in the ceiling i'm in the ocean we can feel alive riding these waves out in the open will you take my hand and run won't you take my hand and we can get away here we go Dreams will be waking down the road All I know Is we'll be reflecting back when we are old Let's just run And as we move we'll see all of the stars align Now we are young So just take my company Sean no sweat I had a lot of fun tonight I better get back home before my parents hire a search party for me <laughs> good idea hey I hope you don't make it a habit to cry on the park benches at this time it's dangerous you know well 
Both my moms made me take self-defense classes, so I'm not completely defenseless. Damn, girl. All right. I won't underestimate you. But if you ever need backup, me and Mr. Broom will have your back. <laughs> well, you should get home then. Ah, before you go, I was wondering, would you like my number? Huh? I, I mean, just if you need someone to talk to, you can always call or text me. I'm here to listen. Uh, or you don't have to. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sean. Of course. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, and Sean? Yeah? Please don't tell anyone you saw me tonight. All right, I won't. Thanks. I'll see you in school then. See you, Daisy. Ah, <sighs> what a day. Honey, it's 180 Celsius for the potatoes, right? Yes, dear. <sighs> Are you sure you don't want to stay for dinner, Jake? Uh, thank you, but really... He already said no, Mom. He overstayed his welcome already. Alex! Is that really a way to talk about your club singer? How many times do I have to tell you not to call me that? I'm the one who named you, you know. I think Alex and Xander are both cute nicknames. Well, of course you do, Luke. You think everything is cute about Xander. True. Anyway, Jake, when are your parents picking you up? Jake? Huh? Uh, so sorry, what did you say? Hey, Jake, could I talk to you in private? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, don't make it weird. I just need to talk to him about something minor. Is there something I'm not knowing about those two? No, and don't even suggest it. <laughs> so, what's up? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm Dandy. Why is that? It's just, uh, since last week, you've been acting weird, like, you space out a lot. Oh! <laughs> really? Jake, you're a really bad liar. I know something's bothering you. Well, you could say that. You can talk to me about it, you know? Uh, all right. Jake. Why did you let me in the band? What? It's just... last week. When you sang Luke's song, I was... I was in shock. You never told me that you could sing before. So I just... assumed that I was the only one that could. That you guys... well, sort of depended on me. But... you're good at singing. More than good. And you really don't need me. So after everything me and the other guys have said and done to you, why did you let me join? Well, it was a mix of reasons, I guess. When you sing, you sing with your heart and soul. And I can tell you really did have a passion for singing. It would have felt wrong to not let you in. Yeah, but still, I thought you hated me. Hate is a strong word, but it's true. I didn't like you. You were a jerk, but I believe in second chances, and I guess I was right to. Thanks, Haley. Still, I don't know why you're still hanging around that posse of yours. They're toxic. I know they're not nice to you guys, but they're still my friends. Are they? Then why did you have to lie and hide from them today? Um, I... I know it seems bad. But they're not like that all the time, and they just have different opinions on things. They're judgmental jerks. They've been harassing us for years just because of our interest. And from the sounds of it, they're even talking down on you too. I don't get it, Jake. 
Why would you hang out with people like that? They're... all I had. Back in middle school, I was the freak who would hum to himself down the corridors alone and get called names. People didn't like me, and I didn't fit in anywhere before Drew. They've been my friends for years now. I don't want them to think badly of me. <sighs> Sometimes I just wish I was someone else. What if I were you? Would it be easier for me to be heard and to be seen? What am I supposed to do? Is it all now up to you? I am not that strong. I don't even know where I belong. You just have to try. Shown me who you really are, Jake. If your friends don't support what you're passionate about, then are they really your friends? <sighs> it's up to you if you want to be around them. But remember that Xander, Millie, Luke, Sean, I, we accept you. I consider you part of this family now. <laughs> really? Thank you, Haley. I feel the same way. Who knew that oh-so-cocky Jake could get so vulnerable? <laughs> hey! We were having a nice moment just then. Jake! Your lift is here! Oh. That's me then. Hmm. Well, thanks for coming over today. Of course! And... Uh... Haley? Yeah? Thank you for giving me a second chance. Well, I'll see you guys at school. See you on Monday, Jake. Try to make rehearsals on time, Nimrod. Sing with me. What? Hey peeps, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Yes, it's sadly that time that I leave you on another cliffhanger. But it's also that time I share something very epic with you guys. So, we all know our favorite simp right here. Well, we made him into a plush. You can get your very own limited edition Jake plush to squeeze, throw about, place under your bed, let out all of your frustrations on, you know, good old fun stuff. And when you buy the plush, you'll get an exclusive animated GIF of Jake and his best friend Oreo. Oh, I wonder who Oreo is. Like always, the link will be in the description. Remember that he's limited edition, so make sure you get your hands on him before he's gone for good. I'd also like to introduce channel membership to everyone. By becoming a Rosie Closey channel member, you'll get access to exclusive posts from me, including video spoilers, updates and BTS stuff, memes and more. Just like these ones. You'll also get a badge by your name and have access to some epic emojis you can show off in the comments. 
So, if you're desperate for the next episode and want lots of juicy sneak peeks, all you need to do is press the join button below and become a rosebud. Thank you again so much for watching. And hey, while you're waiting for the next episode, why not watch this one again? Don't be shy, I know you want to. Remember to hit the like button for me and subscribe for more. See you later, squad fam.